quickly, I'm going to be showing you here uh, your way around Visual Studio. What you're seeing right now is the Microsoft Visual Studio Express. This is very similar to what we use here at school, but this is a free version you can download at home. And everything that we're going to do in this class can be done on the free version. I'm going to go up to File, and we're going to go to New Project. We're going to do this every time we start a new project with a blank form, which we're going to do pretty often in this class. We want to always choose Windows Form Application, unless we say otherwise. Make sure that we are working with Visual Basic. Here's where you name it. So I'm going to name this Demonstration. Now, what this is going to do is this is going to create a bunch of back files that we're always going to use. So this is very important that you always just keep the same name scheme. This is going to be its location. This will default to a Visual Studio 2010 folder on your computer. So you want to use that, and then the solution name is going to be the same as the name. Create directory, keep that check mark. We can hit OK. And it's going to bring us to, after it creates it, a form tools, solution explorer, and the properties. We're going to go over, over a couple videos here, a couple basics. Um, this is just going to walk you through real quick here. This is the toolbar. The toolbar is all the different items we can use to create our different programs. So throughout the semester, we're going to get to know quite a few of these different toolbar items, again, or toolbox, again. Everything that we can do here at school, we can do here in the free version as well. This main area is going to be the design area. And you will use here to flip between different forms that we'll create, as well as if you double click, it'll also open up a code editor, which we'll talk about. There it is. Over here is the Solution Explorer, which allows us to look at different files we'll bring in as well as different forms we create allows us to jump around. So if we click here on Form 1, it takes us to the code here, or if it's Form1.db, it takes us to the form that we design. We're not going to work so much with the solution other than to jump around. The properties, however, is the main thing that we're going to work a lot with in addition to coding. This gives us the ability to change how different things look, feel, act, etc. So for a brief example, we are right now clicked on the form and we want to go change the size. So right now this unit, uh, 300 by 300, we'll talk about what that's measured in. Let's say I want to make it 500 by 300. So I type in 500 for the width. So width is first, height is second. And I'll change that to 450. You see the changes that happened. This gives you the ability to change that. It could also change the text on the form to say, hello class. And if you look up here, if you follow my mouse, that's where it changed it. So that's the general screen of Visual Studio. If you mess up the screen at any point, you can simply go to Window, uh huh, and hit reset window layout. And I will reset this to look like it's default. And all you have to do is go over to toolbox and hit the pin to make it look like how I did again. So you'll actually have to do that, I believe, to make sure your toolbox stays in the same spot. Okay, I'm going to, in the next couple videos, show you about the different items that we're going to use on this first project.